we will give considerable attention to the anatomy and physiology of neural tissue in Module 8. For now, as one of the four basic tissue types of the human body, in Module 4.7 we briefly discuss the basic structures and functions of neural tissue. Neural tissue, also known as nervous tissue or nerve tissue, is specialized for transmitting or propagating electrical impulses from one region of the body to another. The vast majority, almost 98% of neural tissue, is located in the brain and spinal cord, which collectively form the central nervous system and act as the control centers for the nervous system. Neural tissue contains many cell types. Most fall into one of two basic categories. One, neurons and two, several different kinds of supporting cells called neuroglial cells. Neurons rapidly communicate by sending electrical impulses that result in the release of chemical messengers onto target cells. Our conscious and our unconscious thought processes are due to communication among neurons in the brain. The neuroglial cells play a sustentacular role, that is they sustain the neurons. They provide support for neural tissue in both physical and chemical maintenance of the neurons and their surrounding environment. Neuroglial cells nourish neurons, defend them from infection, and insulate and protect the integrity of neural tissue. The longest cells in your body are neurons. Many reach up to one meter in length. Most mature neurons lack centrioles, which are organelles that play an important role in cell division. Therefore, most neurons cannot divide under normal circumstances, so they have a very limited ability to regenerate and or repair themselves when injured. There are a variety of cell shapes when it comes to neurons. The neuron depicted here is a multipolar neuron. While other neurons may not look exactly the same as this multipolar neuron, most neurons have the following three basic parts to varying degrees. One, a soma or cell body, which contains a large nucleus. Two, numerous branching projections called dendrites. And three, one projection called an axon. Dendrites are like antennas that receive input from other neurons, while the axons are responsible for sending out information and communicating to target cells. Each axon ends at axon terminals, where the neuron typically releases chemicals called neurotransmitters, which communicate to specific target cells. For an in-depth exploration of neural tissue, join me in Module 8 as we explore the nervous system. Thank you.